I'll tell you a very short story. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Voy a story. A musician friend of mine uh, a while ago saw a uh, a micromo in, in a second-hand store. Un amigo mío, músico, vio un micromog en una tienda de segunda mano. The owner of the store didn't know what it was. Y el, el dueño no sabía qué es lo que era aquello. He didn't have a clear idea of, of what he should charge. No tenía ni idea de lo que debía de pedir por él. So, uh, my friend said, well, let, let me try it and see, uh, see what condition it's in. Así que le dijo, pues déjeme lo probar y vamos a ver en qué condiciones está. So he uh, looked at it and turned a few knobs here. Así que cogió, empezó a mover todos los uh, potenciómetros de esta manera. Then he pressed the key and he said, I'm sorry, it doesn't work. Bueno, no hace falta traducir. ¿no? And he got it very cheaply. Y así que lo consiguió de muy barato. One, one sound that was always very popular, uh, you know, back in the early days, was, was, was to make a storm. Let's see if I can make a storm. Uno de los sonidos más populares en aquellos tiempos era el de imitar un sonido de una tormenta. Vamos a ver si sale. Let's speed the storm up a little bit. This is a pink noise store. And everybody go, wow, listen to that. <laughs> How are we doing? Is that, is that, do you want me to twiddle some more? Can you talk about Yeah, it's enough.